Hey folks, how are you doing? Welcome back. Yeah. Well, this is probably one of the hardest things to find for these old Weber kettles is an ash pan like this. And uh, we got one from a guy that I know that uh, he's, he's got a lot of these and he went through his collection and brought me what he said was the best one, but it needed some restoration. That's what we're going to show you how to do in this video and give you a little lesson on this 1973 Weber. Well, let's get right, started. Let's get started on that ashtray. So my, my buddy Mike came, came over. Now Mike is <laughs> a great guy. Saw the video and uh, he keeps all his Weber's, uh, old Weber's parts and pieces and all that in a semi-trailer. So <laughs> it's, he's, he's got a lot of it. And uh, he said he went through and found one of his better ones. And this one's not dinged up at all. It just needs a good cleaning. And uh, we're gonna wash it up first. And then we're gonna get started with some uh, Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish on there. You know, Mike was a little bit, you know, was talking to me about the patent pending Weber's and he said he wasn't 100% sure if it went all the way to 73. He knows for a fact that the, the plastic on um, plastic tires were new in 73. Prior to that, like in 68, 69, 70, 71, they were plastic but they had rubber. So he had a pair of those too, which I, I might do a restore on. And I know that would be wrong, but still I'd want to paint that white wall back on there and try and bring them back to uh, as new condition as possible. And that's what we're going to do with this ashtray too. I'll give you a look-see as we proceed with that. Right, getting heavy a little bit here. I am using a random orbit sander and I've got a felt pad on here and I'll leave the link down below where I got these. Got them off of Amazon. I just searched it on Amazon. Fits real nice with the, uh, with the hook and loop. And uh, like I said, put the mothers down and now we're just polishing it uh, to get all the grit and grind off there and hopefully get it, get it back to uh, somewhat new. All right, so after I do that a little bit, and I'm just taking, I got an old shirt here. I'm just taking and um, you can see, you know, you can get it looking, you can look at, get it looking pretty decent. I'm not a, I'm not a metal polisher by trade or, know know how to do this stuff i just uh said i i spent some time once i had an old pk portable kitchen that i got and uh i used the mothers and this technique for finishing the aluminum on there and uh, i was shocked on how well it works and you can see this is pretty much just 10 minutes not even worth of uh you know and you, you've got some pitting there you're not going to get some of that out but you're going to get it looking pretty gosh darn good Right, so around the edges, I'm just using some uh, polishing. This, this is all it's from Harbor Freight. This is about six inch, and it works works very well. And that's how we're end up probably doing the inside of the bowl too, because that uh, obviously that uh, my uh, sander is not going to be able to conform to that. So I'll give you a couple looks as we proceed. All right, then once we got that all wiped off, then I put a coat of this stuff on this gel gloss. I've been using this for years on the exterior parts of all of my grills, and it works really good at polishing stuff up. And I just, I started using it once, uh, I think I had a hot tub, and the manufacturer recommended using this on the fiberglass. And uh, from there, I just transitioned to everything else. It does a great job. I get that here in the Midwest, we've got a, uh, hardware store chain called Menards. That's where I get that at. But uh, by what, that's 30 minutes worth of work right there. And uh, turned out pretty nice. Now hopefully we can get this side looking, well, it's kind of pitted. We'll see what we can do on that side. All right, so I, you know, I, I didn't realize the pitting was as bad as it was. I wasn't gonna puff out. So I've transitioned to sandpaper now uh, on the uh, random orbit. 120 you can still see we got a lot of pitting in there but it is starting to clean it up and i think that's what i'll go to and then i'll swap up to 220 and then from there i'll try the the, the pad the uh random orbit kind of does get into everything that seems to be the best way to go for this all right looking a little better that's that's after the uh boy am i able to get it to look like that i don't know <laughs> but we'll see what we can do all right, so I think maybe the answer is going to be yes. So I started in the center with the mothers and the uh, felt, felt pad on the uh, random orbit. And uh, yeah, looks like uh, we, might have, uh, we might have a plan here. All right, that's two applications of mothers. And uh, 
You know, we still got some pitting in there. I ain't going to get it all out, but it sure is going to look a lot better than what it did. So we'll keep going and get the edges here and uh, give you a look-see when uh, when I think it's done. Well, I'll tell you what, folks. <laughs> I am uh, I'm happy with this. Obviously, this side's a lot more shiny, but the only way to get the, a lot of the pitting out was to use the sandpaper, and we were able to get it nice and shiny and smooth. And uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it. These, uh, like I said, I'll leave the link down below. These pads. This is what made it, you know. And obviously, the Bauer <laughs> cordless uh, did a great job. The Mothers, as always, for uh, refinishing aluminum, uh, a lot better than I thought it would look. Let's uh, I'll tell you what. Let's put it on the grill. See how it looks on the grill. Tell you what, <laughs> a lot of work just for an ash pan, pan but that's uh, what makes it original is that ash pan, folks. And then obviously everything else about this uh, old Weber kettle that uh, I think is 1973, but others are telling me it may be uh, a little bit earlier than that. Tom Horst for YouTube. I hope you enjoy this. This is stuff I love doing, restoring old stuff, learning more about it as I do it, as I get uh, parts and pieces from people. Uh, you know, I, I want to thank the, the guy who gave this today. To me, I appreciate that a lot. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, he, he gave it to me for the price I paid. Hope you enjoy this. Thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, folks, thanks for watching.